Hey guys, it's Dane at Zim's Guitars. Thank you for coming in. I got my hands on one of those brand new BC Rich a Shredzilla. Come on in, let's take a look at this thing. All right guys, so here it is. Um, it's probably about a year old, but BC Rich finally got their act together after a few years of possibly being out of business. They started making guitars again. This is a 2020 BC Rich Shredzilla, and it is in the satin black. And uh, good for BC Rich. They started making guitars again. They got a brand new president of the company. And they are building great guitars for those guys that love to shred. So again, major props to BC Rich for getting it together. Everybody loved the BC Rich stuff. The American made stuff back in the 80s. Bernie Rico at the helm of the company. And they did great job and tons of... Lita Ford, tons of great bands, Motley Crue, all those guys played BC Rich stuff. And uh, the, one of the very impressive things about this guitar, the back of the guitar has no heel right here. So it's all maple all the way through here. And so the little handshake where your hand is right up here at the 17th fret, you've got tons of great access to the guitar. Five piece maple neck. And they're describing the neck profile as ultra slim, 25 and a half inch scale length. And it does have a dual action truss rod. So if you loosen, now I have an old BC Rich, and I have the truss rod nut as loose as it will go, and, I'm and, and the guitar still has back bow to it, so it kind of frets out right here in some of these areas. And so a dual action truss rod is definitely the way to go nowadays. This is an Indian ebony fretboard. And it is a 14 inch radius. So it's, it's pretty flat radius with extra jumbo frets. This guitar has the Floyd Rose 1000 in black. Now for pickups, these have DiMarzio pickups. So in the neck, we have a super distortion and in the bridge we have the DiMarzio D Activator X and they are direct mounted so I've been saying this in my last probably five videos I love when the pickups do not have pickup rings when they are direct mounted I think Eddie Van Halen was the first one to direct mount his pickups but I love the clean look of that uh, compared to having those ugly pickup rings that that fade and and they and then they they warp and all kinds of stuff happens to those old pickup rings I hate those so the direct mount is the way to go right now 500k pots and we've got the um, push poles on those so you can coil split both pickups this is for the neck pickup this is for the bridge pickup. Then you've got your tone control. So I'm going to flip the guitar over. And we can see that it is made in Korea. So we do have the Grover 18 to 1 tuners in black on this guitar. So really honestly, this guitar is built for speed. Uh, upgrades are not necessary. I know a lot of guys want to upgrade their guitar and, and change pickups out and stuff. But you don't need to do any of that on this Shredzilla. All right, guys. So we got Logan's down here today. He's going to play this thing for us. Too bad. Now give us a little bit more. Logan, what's 
the name of your band? Misanthropic. Misin... Misanthropic. A person who dislikes humankind and avoids human society. Misanthropic, and yeah. you guys are on Spotify. Yes, yeah, Spotify, Apple Music, Amazon, YouTube, whatever Awesome, you use. and you just dropped the single. Yeah, so our single's out now. We should have the EP out by Halloween. One more time, the name of the band? Misanthropic. Misanthropic. Thank you, Logan.